Hello, in this video you'll learn how to find the search index database from the library's website and how to run a quick search based on a particular topic. First, head to the library homepage at gordon.edu library. Scroll down until you see the blue search the library box. Click on the databases tab in this box and then click on view all databases. You're now looking at a list of all of the databases accessible at Jenks Library. You can filter this list by subject area, I'd recommend sociology and social work, to see a list of best bet options for beginning your research in this discipline. When you filter by sociology and social work, you'll see that a yellow box appears that says best bets and search index is in that best bets box. Go ahead and click on the link to search index. Search Index is a comprehensive database that allows you to search for scholarly articles on topics such as social work, social welfare, sociology, uh, and more specific top topics such as gender and race and criminal research. So it's an excellent resource for thinking about how our society works and the different things that play into that. When you arrive at the search index search page, the first thing that you'll see is the search boxes at the top of the page. This is where we'll enter in our keywords to actually run the search. Everything else below the search boxes is about how you actually limit your results. We have a couple of those limiters already selected for you. They are Print Gordon and Full Text and EBSCO, and all that means is that you're just getting immediate full text access to your articles. One really important checkbox to always remember to select in this limit your results section is the scholarly peer reviewed journals checkbox. This is what's weeding out anything from popular magazines such as Time Magazine, The Atlant or The Atlantic. And instead, it's getting only academic journals, things that have been reviewed by other scholars and professionals within the field of study. You have additional limiting options such as publication date, document type, publication type, etc. that may be helpful depending on your research topic. Let's say we were looking for research on the topic of counseling children who've experienced grief. We can enter in some of those keywords on our search box at the top of the page. We're going to type in first counseling, then we're going to type in children, and finally, and finally our keyword grief. But to my keyword grief, I'm going to build in a potential synonym or related term so that I could try to find a little bit more research. We're going to say grief or loss. So now what I'm asking is find me articles that are discussing all three of these concepts and give me either of these two terms in my search. Let's go ahead and click search. Once you click search, you're viewing the list of all the scholarly articles that have been returned based on the keywords that you've entered. You can scroll down through, read the blue article titles, which are links to the actual articles, to learn which one of these might be useful for your research. Let's click into one of these as an example. Once you click on the article's title, you can learn more information about this particular article, such as the author, the source, which is the journal that it's published in, some specific subject terms, so other ideas that this article is about, and then you can read the abstract, which is just the summary of the article, and this can give you a really good idea about what this article is discussing and whether or not it's really going to be helpful for your research. To actually access the full PDF of the article, you can use the links under the digital record heading, click on that PDF link, and your article will, you can save it or download it wherever you like.